So today we're going to talk about, sort of like in my introduction, how can you actually turn paperwork, and we're going to focus on the intake process because that's obviously when you do most paperwork with your clients, and how do we make it more of a conversation than this boring thing where we're sitting there um, just having people find forms. So specifically, our objectives, we're going to, I would like for everyone who attends to be able to explain you know, how informed consent is a process and not a form. So we'll focus on that first. Um, and then describe the, the key aspects that everyone really should have in your intake packet. Uh, also identify how HIPAA and privacy concerns might impact informed consent or any of these things. Describe the most common mistakes that clinicians make regarding payment. Um, there aren't a whole lot, but they are pretty common, so we'll review those. And also explain how to talk with clients about insurance and confidentiality. So those are big things that we want to make sure that all the people we serve are aware of. Um, and sometimes issues do come up when we don't do our due diligence in making sure that people have the information they need. Um, and lastly, how can you evaluate your forms over time? Um, so this last point, we'll kind of see how much time we have at the end and how much um, people want to review this. We can go a little bit more in depth if we have time. But I'll at least give you some ideas of how you can stay up to date and how to um, incorporate laws and ethics as they change uh, to, to evaluate your forms every year.